Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As reported by Gareth Jennings, a leading aviation journalist, India has expressed its interest in acquiring MD-530 helicopters. While this decision should have been a welcome move, it has been criticized heavily on various social media platforms. The question that is being raised is why India has to import MD-530 helicopters when it has indigenously developed HL's light utility helicopter LUH. In today's video, we will discuss in detail about MD-530 series helicopters, their capabilities and operational role. We will also talk about the differences between MD-530 helicopters and HL's LUH. So let's get started. The MD-500 helicopters have different versions developed for different roles. The one where India seems to be interested is MD-530F Cayuse Warrior developed on OH-6 Cayuse Light helicopters which are widely known for speed, safety, agility and ease of operating in confined spaces. The helicopter can be used for military scout and transporting the special forces. It is perfectly suited for counter-insurgency and close air support missions. The helicopter has two hard points for FN HMP-400 gun pod with FN M3P 12.7mm heavy machine gun which can fire 1100 rounds per minute and carries 400 rounds of ammo. It has an effective range of nearly 1850 meters, maximum firing range of 6500 meters. It can also be equipped with two M260 rocket pod with seven shot unguided Hydra 70 rockets having effective range of 8 kilometers. The helicopter has an anti tank version as well called 500 MD or Tow Defender, which can be equipped with four tow anti tank missiles. The Philippine military is using this helicopter for special forces, which is modified 500mg Defender that carries 12.7mm caliber machine gun and 7 tube rocket pods and operate as a light attack aircraft. Afghanistan Air Force is the largest operator of MD-530F Kyuz Warrior. However, their experience is not good. According to Colonel Kalandari, Afghan Air Force pilot, it's unsafe to fly as the engine is too weak. The tail rotor is defective and it is not armored. If we go down the enemy, we are going to have enemy return fire, which we cannot survive. If we go up higher, we cannot visually target the enemy. Clearly, these helicopters are not meant to be used in combat zone under heavy fire. The helicopters are suitable for urban or jungle mountain warfare or counter insurgency operations as due to their small size they can easily land in confined space and land on rooftop. They can carry four special troops along with them apart from crew of two. Now comparing MD530F with HAL's LUH is completely unfair. LUH even though called light utility helicopter has weight more than double of that of MD530F helicopters. Therefore, LUH is not suitable for operating under confined spaces and in urban warfare. LUH is not armed and mainly used as utility helicopters. However, if armed forces want, the helicopter can be armed, but then it will require to undergo trials and certification, which is a time consuming process. Further, if HL has to develop a very light helicopter with firepower like MD-500 series, it will involve huge cost in developing them, which can only be recovered if ordered in large numbers. However, what is not clear is the number of such helicopters required by Indian Armed Forces. It's speculated to be ordered only for a special forces unit, hence the quantity of helicopters will be very less. In this situation, it is wise to buy rather than build these helicopters indigenously. Today's update, please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. 
we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector